Biology Lab. Lab 8. Nitrogen Fixation. Introduction. Nitrogen is the most abundant element in our atmosphere. It is a vital element as many classes of compounds essential to living systems are nitrogen containing compounds. Nitrogen is a primary nutrient for all green plants, but it must be modified before it can be readily utilized by most living systems. Nitrogen fixation is one process by which atmospheric nitrogen is converted into ammonia. Nitrogen fixing bacteria carry out this complex process. The bacteria live in soil or in the roots of certain plants called legumes. Plants that are legumes include bean and pea plants. The process of nitrogen fixation only occurs in these locations because the chemical reaction can only take place in an environment that is free of oxygen. The nitrogen cycle begins when nitrogen fixing bacteria convert atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia. The ammonia that is produced is used, assimilated, by living systems to create organic compounds such as proteins and nucleic acids. When organisms die, the organic molecules in their bodies and the nitrogen they contain are broken down by decomposers. Decomposition releases the nitrogen back into the environment as ammonia. This process is known as ammonification. Other organisms can then reuse this ammonia. Some of the ammonia produced by nitrogen fixation and decomposition is converted into nitrates by nitrifying bacteria. This process is called nitrification. Denitrifying bacteria act on these nitrates, converting them into free nitrogen, N2. This process is known as denitrification. Nitrogen that has been nitrified and denitrified is returned to the atmosphere. This process completes what is commonly referred to as the nitrogen cycle. Materials for this lab. Nodules from the root of a legume such as clover, alfalfa, or beans. Tweezers, slides and sl slip covers, toothpicks, Safranin stain, compound microscope, and a dissection microscope. Procedure Observing the nitrogen fixing bacteria. Number one, obtain a root from a nitrogen fixing plant. Two, examine the root under the dissection scope. Draw a detailed picture of the root, label the nodules and the roots. Three, Remove a single nodule using tweezers. Four, using a scalpel, carefully slice the nodule in half. Five, place one half of the nodule between two microscope slides and squash flat. Six, place a drop of safranin stain in the center of the slide with the nodule on it. Cover with a cover slip. Seven, Using the compound microscope, examine the nodule under high power. The nitrogen-fixing bacteria are the small, rod-shaped structures. They are very small, but numerous, and appear to be small threads. Look for the movement of the bacteria. If the dye intensity is too great to see any contents, remove the slip cover and add a drop of water and view again. Adjust the diaphragm for best viewing. 8. Make a drawing of the bacteria on high power. Testing for nitrogen content. 1. Prepare a solution by grinding the roots of the treated bean, including the nodule, and 25 milliliters of distilled water with a mortal and pestle. 2. Filter the solution or allow it to stand. Draw off some of the liquid with a pipette, enough to fill the test and reference chambers of the nitrogen color. Three, carefully separate the two halves of the nitrogen test capsule and empty its contents into the test chamber on the left. 
4. Cap the com comparator tightly and invert it several times to dissolve the contents of the capsule. 5. Allow color to develop for 10 minutes. Hold the comparator up to the light and match the color for the solution to the closest color on the comparator. Enter the nitrogen value in Table 1. 6. Repeat steps 1 through 5 for the radish roots.